Welcome back chooms, today we're going to talk about one of the most dangerous places in Night City and that's the combat zone of Pacifica now known as Dogtown. And for us to understand how combat zone is created we have to go back into the past. After many storms, financial crashes and wars crippled the world economy it slowly started to degrade into chaos. Unemployment rose to astronomical highs and food shortage and prices crippled the big cities. Once farmlands are no longer usable, the entire food chain collapses. Of course, advancements in technology helped people a lot to battle those issues, but damage was done, social order was completely turned over. Corporations and booster gangs divided resources of Night City and NCPD became ineffective. As security degraded in cities, various booster gangs started claiming their ground. One of those regions in Cyberpunk 2020 was called the Combat Zone or Section D. It quickly became one of the most dangerous places in all of the Night City. Various gangs battled for control, people were being attacked, and it perfectly captured the essence of a dystopian world, where you had to fight for everything and street rules were in action throughout. The Pacifica area now itself in the beginning was made out of mostly residential buildings and small businesses, but eventually chaos of the combat zone was spreading so now safer areas became dangerous and NCPD was pushed out. Night City Council then realized they must do something. It was mentioned that it should be completely walled off like Detroit combat zone. You have to realize that Night City wasn't the only one with this problem, almost all major cities have them. Another proposal was to completely demolish the area and start it from the beginning, but that was pulled because it didn't fit into the budget. So the city pretty much cordoned it off, but you were able to freely travel in and out, but it was advised to avoid it completely. One of the gangs which was on top at that time were called the Blood Razors, so in general you always had one general gang which had a claim over the area, but that was changing all the time as other players stepped in. After the end of the Ford Corporate War and during the time of the Red in 2045, area which was originally the Combat Zone was renamed to the Old Combat Zone, but that didn't last for long because, well, new combat zones started to appear. Now Corpos and the city council was quick to try and change the Pacifica area though and completely destroy the combat zone. City Council, Corpos and other investors decided that Pacifica should be this beautiful resort for the wealthy. Being right next to the water, it would have amazing hotels, casinos and much more. One of the most famous areas is Playland by the Sea, abandoned amusement park built by the Tower of Dark Corporation. But those plans were foiled as Unification War started in 2069, money dried out and investors pulled out, so the entire zone was left with abandoned construction sites and half-built skyscrapers. And because Corpos left, so did the security and Pacifica again was abandoned to fend for itself. Gangs quickly seized the control over it, mainly in 2077 voodoo boys who controlled the outside Pacifica area. Meanwhile the other area that we will see in Phantom Liberty Dogtown is completely controlled by Kurt Hansen and his Bargest. Kurt managed to seize control over it with his loyal soldiers and most importantly capturing Erozep Nuclear Heart, which pumps juice into Dogtown and once you control basic resources, everything caves down to you. You have to realize that Combat Zone never had someone like Kurt control it. Usually it was a gang who were tough, but Kurt is on a different level and is capable of causing a lot more damage. But it's not all that bleak, because shops in the Combat Zone have items that you would never get in Night City because they are illegal, but Pacifica doesn't fall into those rules. Also, Corpos love to spend time in Pacifica and the Combat Zone, so a lot of things happening there, you always have to realize there is a backing of a corporation behind it. In Pacifica and Dogtown area, people are poor, usually at the mercy of various gangs and cutthroats. They live in anything including containers that were left over from construction. Why though? Well, they have nowhere else to go and for some more twisted individuals, Pacifica and the combat zone is heaven. Pacifica right now is no longer a part of Night City because Lucius Ryan decided to make it independent which ultimately covered his promise of reducing crime in Night City by 3%. Ironic. Right now only Trauma Team and in rare cases Max Tech go into Pacifica, everyone else steers clear of it. 
And this is everything for today. We are gonna be entering Dogtown soon in the Phantom Liberty expansion and I cannot wait to see what it holds for us. If you enjoyed this video, click that like and subscribe button for more and join our community on Twitter and Discord. Also huge thanks to my current Patreon supporters. This is LKM signing out and stay classy everyone. Bye bye.